boom hi guys welcome back to my channel this is uh, pand from techjot so first of all uh, if you are new to this channel drop a like drop a comment and here you can see this is an uh, youtube analytics charts as you can see here only 2% of the people have subscribed my channel 98% people didn't even subscribe my channel they are just watching and going so and another thing is that i am about to achieve 4k subscribers on my youtube channel so it would be favor let us uh, begin with the topic so the topic is all about uh, upcoming smartphones in this june month so these are the some of the upcoming smartphones in this june month so first of all let us talk about htc so htc are going to launch their smartphone yeah uh, it was an uh, first uh, smartphone to introduce the android uh, software as well as they are the one who have introduced this uh, dual speaker setup and everything uh, and uh, they are known for their uh, innovations and uh, nostalgia is eating me because of uh, their brand uh, reintroducing in the indian market another update is from hmd smartphones hmd smartphones are nothing but uh, nokia smartphones but uh, they are rebranded to the hmd uh, so they these are the uh to update another thing is that the third major update is from apple apple wwdc 24 event is going to held on this month and uh, i guess they are going to tease one smartphone called iphone se4 uh, which will be available uh, for 50k rupees or 45k rupees and uh, motorola uh, yeah motorola is not shopping for anyone so they are gonna uh, launch smartphones in edge lineup as well as uh, razer lineup edge lineup is nothing but a normal smartphone razer lineup is nothing but foldable smartphone in a motorola's language so please do share this video to, to a person who is willing to get uh, which is a rebranded version of nokia uh, they are going to launch uh, three smartphones in this uh, lineup and uh, this hm in this hmd lineup uh, the models numbers are known as pulse uh, models so pulse there is a smartphone model name is pulse so in this pulse lineup they are going to launch uh, three smartphones first one is pulse pulse plus pulse pro version so basic specs of this uh, three smartphones are uh, this three smartphone will come with 5000 mAh battery 720p 120 hertz display i feel like uh, at least they should give one uh, 1080p displays instead of 720 displays because uh, it's a bare ni- minimum and it comes with a 50 megapixel camera specs of these three smartphones but what major changes this uh, three smartphones has is their pro- processor uh, moto i know moto is not shopping for a any one they are literally launching each and every phone every month like at least they are launching one phone every month and uh, this smartphone comes with uh, snapdragon 4 gen 3 processor mostly it comes with a 6.5 inch p oled displays and it comes with a 50 megapixel camera 50 megapixel camera is a mandatory for every budget device and uh, it will come under the budget of 20k price range because it is an 4 gen 3 processor one plus uh, one plus smartphone is 20k to 25k uh, this smartphone will come with a snapdragon 6 gen 1 processor sir with the 120 hz display and it comes with 100 watts fast charging best i have forgot to mention two other smartphones so let us talk about it uh, under this 30k price range first of all uh, it is from a brand called oppo oppo is going to launch their oppo f 27 pro uh the basic specs are it comes with 6.7 inch amoled display with a dimensity 750 processor which is a decent one with 64 megapixel camera and 5000 mAh battery uh, i feel like uh, for 28 to 30000 price range kindly do avoid this phone uh, usually this oppo f series uh, only focuses on front camera and i feel like it from uh, oneplus oneplus not 4 I guess it is available in the market uh, right now and uh, it comes with 1.5k 120 hertz uh, display uh, which is an amoled display and uh, uh, it comes with better display compared to this Poco F27 Pro and it has a Snapdragon 7 7 plus gen 3 processor which is an pretty good mid range processor compared to Dimensity 750 processor and it comes with Sony LYT 600 sensor which is a 50 megapixel sensor which is previously used in their uh, OnePlus uh, 12 and 12R smartphone and it clicks a decent pictures so if you want to see see the samples on Google uh, internet 
and uh, it comes with thunderbolt fast charging which is invoke charging as one place known for and it comes with 5500 mAh battery which will usually last up to one and a half day even if you are a heavy user and uh, i feel like this smartphone is an overall package and uh, it is worth for the price do consider it Uh, launch I'm excited about is this Oppo Reno 12. Oppo Reno 12 comes with 6.7 inch uh, AMOLED 120 Hz display. Usually this OnePlus Oppo all this comes with the same uh, physical specs. They just manipulate uh, here and there and sell rebrand their phone and they sell it. And it comes with 50 plus 50 dual cameras and 50 megapixel front cameras. I feel like this is a camera centric phone, which uh, if you're kindly looking for getting a smartphone with good camera specs then go for it so another smartphone which i'm excited about this uh, Xiaomi Civic 4 Pro uh, which is uh, also known as a four, which will uh, launch as, as a 14 SE and a 14 Lite in India so in China it is known as Xiaomi Civic Pro and uh, in this smartphone due to the processor uh, it will it will not able to run pub bgmi in 90 fps and another thing is it comes with a 67 volt fast charging and which is i feel like which is a decent one and it comes with the 8s gen 2 processor which is a decent performance processor uh, so that uh, it doesn't uh, provide any lags and shutters uh, if you are using it for day to day usage as well as for uh, decent gaming and it will come around 50k price tag and it will be focused on camera because of lisia cameras integration for xiaomi brand and um, another and most important thing which i am excited about this uh, apple event so apple wwc 24 event uh, is coming on this june so this apple will focus all about uh, some major things such as so usually this uh, event focuses on uh, iMac and uh, iOS software as well as they are going to tease their iPhone SE 4 uh, in this one eternity later another great thing which uh, apple going to focus is uh, about is ai features because apple have never teased ai features in their any of their launch recently so i guess they are going to talk about it and uh, let us talk about the folding phone uh, let us talk about vivo x fold 3 pro ai smartphone so they have include their ai name on their smartphone itself and uh, they this x series uh, usually focuses on camera because it comes with the zeiss lens and it will come with the uh, snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor as you know it is a flagship processor and you can do anything on it and it comes with the uh, 8 inch display uh, with 120 hz because it is a foldable device so it comes with 8 inch display and uh, it they will improve on the hinge because it is folding phone and uh, the build quality of the device will be improved and uh, let us talk about another folding phone i guess june month is all about folding phones and innovation and etc and uh, in terms of every aspect such as cameras and os everything so let us talk about another folding phone i am excited about this folding phone stuff moto going to launch their razer 50 it is a flip phone as you know the, this razer 50 usually comes around 50k budget uh, so it comes with the dimensity 7300 processor with 6.9 inch display and it will it will hit as an outer display of 3.5 inch with the pl poled stuff it comes with a 4200 mAh battery because uh, there are normal Razer 50 is a budget folding phone and this Razer 50 Ultra from Motorola is a flagship folding phone i guess moto is not stopping there just being consistent with their launch last but not least let us talk about uh, another brand which we are excited about HTC trying to make comeback in India they are the one who are who have launched the first Android phone first screen phone phone with the uh, dual speakers and a phone with the uh, dual cameras so they are known for their innovation so as you know smart uh, India is an up for uh, smartphone brands uh, or smartphones market because uh, lots of people uh, purchase smartphones in India and uh, because india is an uh, premiumization stage uh, as i talk in previous videos so lots of people trying to cope with the technology so they are purchasing more and more products so mostly every brand uh, such as uh, not not stc brands such as uh, realme redmi uh, all those brands try to focus on indian market because uh, it has huge population and uh, there is lots of demand for it and so they need to meet the supply 
and attract new buyers so that they can grow as a brand these are the some of the expected smartphones which will launch in this month so i am excited about uh, so if you are new to this channel drop a like drop a comment and subscribe my channel thank you